guys, welcome to my name Chris's YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit your notification bell. Um, this video is talking about depression and can you overcome depression. Now, I'm a person who suffers with depression. I suffer with seasonal affective disorder which causes depression and that as well. So, I think I'm pretty well equipped for this topic. Now, I've suffered with depression since I was about eight years old and you know when you're that young you don't understand that you've got depression um, the thoughts and that that you can get with depression can be so dark and dangerous and terrifying and scary all in one go um, and it takes a lot of work and it's taken me a lot of work so I, I don't, I wouldn't say I've overcome depression, I still have days where I get down and get depressed and stuff but they're not as close together as what they used to be I used to really struggle with the depression side of things with me um, I used to be depressed the majority of the time um, but I'm not now um, I've got a good supportive fiance Chris who you guys know um, he's fully supportive of me and he encourages me to do the best of my ability. Um, but you can still have days where you're down and you're quiet and you might not even be depressed on them days, you might just be having a quiet day, you know. But you could be depressed and not realise it, it's even still to this day I can be depressed and not realise that I'm depressed. It happens, it happens to all of us. Um, but it does get better and it does get easier to deal with as you get older because the things that you were getting depressed over when you were 20, 18, 20, 25, 24, 23, 22 you don't get depressed and that over them because they're not significant things anymore in your life when you get to 45 and that you don't get depressed about them, you don't, because they're insignificant now, you know, I would get depressed over the silliest of things sometimes, and I can't even remember the things I used to get depressed over, to be honest with you, they were that insignificant, um, but then I'd get depressed about really serious stuff and that as well, like being separated from family, even though I knew they, they did me wrong, and they harmed me in the worst possible way that was still what I knew so I still suffered with that attachment and that trauma bond with them but I got over it and I have done for many years now and I'm free from them now and I'm glad and that's helped massively being free from them not being under their control anymore not being told how to live my life um, what to do on a daily basis, what I can and can't eat, what I can and can't drink and all that, you know, I don't, I don't have none of that anymore. I literally live my life how I want to live my life and I do what I want when I want. And that's how life should be. You should be able to do what you want when you want. And, you know, I can, I can honestly say now I'm, I'm very happy with my life. I'm happy with where I am in my life. And I've come a long way just in the last 10 years I've come a long way trust me I've done a lot of work on myself I've done a lot of therapy I've done one lot of therapy I'm waiting on another lot of therapy um, for other stuff and I don't really suffer with depression the only thing at the moment is because it's that time of year where it gets dark at like 3 4 o'clock in the afternoon that gets to me and I notice it very very quickly um, I'll also notice it when it starts to get darker later and lighter earlier as well I'll notice that instantly um, and that's the seasonal affective side of things that can cause me to feel not always depressed but just feel down like because feel like you're constantly in darkness all the time and I don't like being in darkness all the time I don't like the dark anyway so if I can avoid going out in the dark, I will, basically. Um, but yeah, you can 
you can handle depression better. I don't know, you, you could cut overcome depression, you, it's possible, but it, it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of work and a lot of effort on people's parts that, who have depression and want to get over it and move on from it. Or you could be living with it for the rest of your life and just learn to deal with it and manage it in a safe, productive kind of way. That's what you should do. Um, don't deal with it in a negative kind of way. You need to deal with it in a... Try and turn it from a negative to a positive, basically. That's what you need to try and do. And that's not an easy thing to do, basically. Um, so yeah, I, I can't say you, you can overcome depression and get rid of it. It's possible, yes. But is it likely? No. Being realistic and being honest. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. I'm open to the conversation about depression and overcoming it and that. Um, especially as someone that deals with it. So let us know in the comments. But I don't think you can completely get rid of it, to be honest. Especially with other mental health conditions that I've got on top of the depression and that, the UPD, the complex PTSD, the anxiety, the generalised anxiety, so I've got all that as well on top of this depression and that and the seasonal affective disorder. So, you know, you can manage it and live a good life with it, basically. That's what I personally think. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. And in the meantime, take care and bye for now.